Hi guys, I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So again on Thursdays as we as you know that we do our weekly answer writing series. So today again I have come up with a new uh, you know PYQ and today because we have started now genetics. So I thought that uh, maybe section uh, 2 also we can start and so today's topic is the topic that we are reading also. So uh, in I think 9.2 we had done about polymorphism and so today's topic is balanced and transient genetic polymorphism ok. So this question as you can see again has come up in a 10 marker that means and it is a compulsory question and you have to write 150 words and this is a 2022 paper ok. So the most recent one. So you can see that they are asking questions from core genetics also now and and in the compulsory parts so aisa bhi nahi hai ki you don't have to study or you have, you will superficially touch pa genetics part you have to dig deep into some topics right so genetic polymorphism is in the syllabus but the types like balanced transient all these though i have covered it in the chapter itself but it is not explicitly mentioned in the syllabus but even then they have asked this question right so so you know the topic for today so let's get started with it i just want to give you a brief recap of what genetic polymorphism was or is genetic polymorphism so we were talking about when we did it we uh, we uh, we tried to break down break down the term into two parts that was the poly and morph right genetic to you you know which is related to our genes and all poly means many and morph means forms so anything which has more than one form would be called as polymorph and genetic polymorphism is one uh, such topic that we are going to read which means that for example if i have to tell you with example so i can say that different kind of blood groups okay, that we have A, B, A, B, O these are genetic polymorphs okay or the Darwin's very famous Goldian finches right Goldian finches we saw right they are also known as uh, they are also an example of genetic polymorphism because in the finches we saw they were the birds whose beaks or you can say uh, beak structure was different some had more round some had more pointed then the color they exhibited very different color shades right so and the feather structures even they differed to each other so uh, you can say when in a population at a single given locus hai, there are various alleles of the same gene that is known as a genetic polymorphism so i am sure the many of the words would be tough for you to understand but you can go back watch the genetic polymorphism also but here also i am going to tell you what did i say i said on a given allele or uh, sorry uh, on a given locus if more than one allele is present that is called genetic polymorphism that means that means even A, A, B, B, O they are all blood groups right. So that means they must be encoded at a single locus for example if this is a chromosome okay, uh, if this is a chromosome okay, this is a locus that I am talking about okay, and this encodes the blood group of a person. So at this blood group uh, at this locus it could be even A, A, B, B, O, anything. Okay, na? So that means in a population, there are different alleles that are present and are maintained in a population and that is called genetic polymorphism. So I think ab clear ho gaya hoga, right? So now let's read it. So genetic polymorphism is one or two or more variants of a particular DNA, right? So two types of polymorphism that we are talking about that is balanced and transient now the question says now if i take you back to the question it says balanced and transient genetic polymorphism 
now it is not saying that you have to draw a similarity it is not saying that you have to necessarily draw a difference so you have to write a very balanced answer that means you have to explain what balanced uh, first you need to under make in a in a one liner jaise the way i have written it in a one liner you can explain what is genetic polymorphism then because essentially they are two different things theek hai na but even then if they are part of uh, genetic polymorphism that means some similarity must be there so you can write that similarity uh, right and then after that you can start on with your what is balanced uh, genetic polymorphism transient genetic polymorphism and then the conclusion so this much would be enough so first introduction we will write that genetic polymorphism is one or two or more variants of a particular dna then you can say these two type of polymorphism arise due to two alternate alleles of a gene that means at a given locus there are more than one allele or you can say variant that is present right and it is existing so and and what is another similarity ek to ye ho gaya because they are both polymorphism that means there are two alternate alleles that are present on a gene and second thing they both give phenotypic changes and affect the gene expression that means there are two terms one is the genotype and one is the phenotype we have talked about it genotype means that there will be certain change in your genetic makeup right so obviously if there are more than one variant that means there is a change in the genetic makeup it is not the mono thing right new variants are there so there is a there is a change change in the genotype makeup right and many times it has been seen when there is a genotypic change it will reflect on the phenotype and phenotype is what physical characteristics for example there are more than uh, more than one eye color in human beings that are present right there are blue there are green brown eyes dark uh, dark eyes black eyes jet black eyes okay so there are so many uh so these are what these are examples of genetic polymorphism so that means both the balanced as well as the transient genetic polymorphism gives uh rise to phenotypic changes and affects the geno genotype expression so now you understand this much is enough for your introduction introductory part now let's talk about so then you can say but but then transient polymorphism is a progressive replacement of one allele of a gene by another allele while balanced poly polymorphism is the maintenance of both different alleles of a given gene over time that means what see if i say that there will come a time when all uh, uh, okay there will come just say today more or less we have males and females there are two sex that are present right and there are uh, you know uh, some others but mostly male female right ab kya hoga what will happen see do not confuse between uh, sex and gender right because other categories what we talk about lgbtqia plus all of that that comprises in gen gender okay when we talk about sex based on birth it is only two either male or female theek hai so that way we are talking about only male and female so in male and female there are there, there are two variants of the same allele that means they are present in the population but example there you know, this is just a hypothetical example what happens if male over the time is eliminated and there is only females that remain so this is what is transient polymorphism you understand or let us take that there are two variants of tigers theek hai in a population and over the time one variant eliminates because of any reasons mostly it is because of the environmental pressures and survival of the fittest type of ideas but whatever reason one gets eliminated and there is a gradual change towards one variant only so that is transient polymorphism that means it is transitory theek hai na it is coming from the word transition transitory or transient so that means there will be a time when there will be more than one allele that is present or more than one variant of a gene is present but over the course of time it is going to fix itself 
into only one. ठीक है ना? So let us suppose that if I have to show you a graphical diagram of this, I would say that it looks like something like this. There are two populations that are maintaining itself in a in a uh, in a group. ठीक है? But now over the period of time, it will only become one. That means one will get eliminated and there will be a sharp uh, you know a gradual change or a sharp change towards only one type. Okay? So, this is transient polymorphism. Now, in a population when there are two alleles present in a gene pool and because we have talked about that they are located at a particular gene locus. That means for example, if we are talking about a gene which is present over here. Okay? So, this was the locus. One of the two alternate forms is progressively getting replaced by the another, okay? and this is happening because of the environmental pressures. Okay? So, also it is called unbalanced, unstable and not predictive, because why unstable, unbalanced, because we have talked thi unstable because we have talked about the heterozygous advantage, right? we were talking about heterozygous advantage that means diversity is very important and we are going to read it in uh, balanced polymorphism we will we'll see the example so heterozygous advantage gives us the diversity in our ge genetic makeup and that diversity helps us to adapt to different environmental pressures right so that is why if there is only and if gradually you are going to fix one variant in a population that means diversity is getting killed right destroy over here Okay, so, that means it becomes unstable and unbalanced. Obviously, it is not the, the balance is shifting. The, the balance is shifting towards one population more. Right? You understand this? Right? So, that is why it is called unbalanced, unstable uh, and it is not predictive. That means it can happen and we cannot predict this that this is going to happen. Right? So, this was and this is the example of you can say the peppered moth, industrial peppered moth. So, what happened basically in the industrial times uh, because there was so, so much of pollution and all of that it was the white moth was easier it could be seen easily. So, it was becoming difficult for them to survive. Okay? So, uh, they started to increase the melanin production in the body of the moth started to increase and it helped them to camouflage them in that polluted regions right thereby increasing their survivability because kya hoga agar predator hai if there is a predator theek hai if it is uh, if everything is black and there is a white moth that's there predators will easily uh, see them and they will eat them right but when they got this melanin production increased in their body they camouflaged in that uh, you know industrial polluted environment right so thereby increasing their survivability now what happened because they were increasing and flourishing because of their uh, melanin production the gradual white peppered moth was replaced by the black peppered moth so this is a classic example of transient polymorph genetic polymorphism so you understand what happened white pepper moth eliminate ho gaya due to the environment environment was uh, uh, you know uh, uh, favoring the black peppered moth because there was industrial uh, pollution and in that pollution they could easily camouflage themselves so white got eliminated and it turned the whole population changed to black polymorphism uh, sorry black peppered moth so this is transient polymorphism now let's look at what is balanced polymorphism so in a balanced polymorphism what happens is there are different more than one alleles that are maintained in the population. So, that is called balanced transient mein also one was el eliminating and it was replaced by another. But balance may there will be a balance that means there will be more than one that are maintained in the population. So, if there are two alleles of the gene both are going to uh, you know both are going to be present at the same locus. And they will main, they will be maintained. That means for this iske, iske example, there is a very good example of sickle cell anemia. We will tell you how. Basically, kya ho hai? There, ja, humne baat kara jase, this is the locus. Hai? 
इस पे देर इज ब्लड ग्रुप दैट इज इनकोडेड सो ए भी हो सकता है इट कुड बी बी ऑल्सो ए बी भी हो सकता है एंड ओ भी हो सकता है राइट दैट मीन्स एट वन लोकस देर आर मोर देन वन अलील दैट कैन बी मेनटेन्ड ओके एंड यूजली बैलेंस पॉलीमोफिजम इज मेनटेन्ड इन अ हिट्रोजाइगस कंडीशन ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज देर इज हिट्रोजाइगोसिटी देर इज सो मच ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी दैट इज वाई देर आर न्यू वेरियंट्स एंड एवरी वेरियंट इज you know finding its place and fixing it in the population theek hai so in some cases this gives you the heterozygous advantage and we'll talk about it so sickle cell anemia in africans can be explained by balanced polymorphism now let me tell you how basically a normal person's hemoglobin will be let me show it as h or maybe hh theek hai this is homozygous condition homozygous healthy theek hai and if a person having a sickle cell disease because it's a recessive trait so it has to come again in the homozygous condition to become fatal so small h shows sickle cell problem in my case in this case and it becomes fatal only in the again in the homozygous condition so heterozygous advantage kya hoga when you have one copy of both the alleles that means one healthy gene and one sickle cell gene right so now this person is a heterozygous right this person is a heterozygous now in africa it has been seen not in africa but it's a it's a research based fact that the people who have sickle cell anemia are immune to malaria or malarial diseases so that means this person is immune to malaria but he will die of sickle cell anemia this person because he is a totally healthy person will have uh, will not have sickle cell disease but will have malaria but in the case of africans because it's a it's a tropical country and in tropical countries these vector borne diseases are the most so that is why we are talking about sickle cell disease and malarial prevalence in africa because that's the best example to take so what will happen this person who is the heterozygous will have a very mild sickle cell disease because it's a recessive trait so it will not have that much of effect right it has to come in the homozygous condition to make it very uh, dangerous right so he'll have a mild sickle cell disease but will be immune because of this h to the malarial disease right so this means heterozygous advantage and what is this this population because this heterozygous advantage is there in case of malaria and sickle cell disease in africa it was seen so what happened in africa the population of heterozygous people heterozygous sickle cell anemia disease people increased that means in balanced polymorphism there were more people with hh with hh there there were more people with hh dan hh and hh you understand dan you can say homozygous healthy or homozygous sickle cell theek hai so you understand what is uh, and and i have shown you this picture also this is a normal rbc theek hai which does not have a sickle cell this is resistant to malaria because he has normal ones also and sickle cell ones also and this one is fatal theek hai so i hope you have understood what is balanced polymorphism what is transient polymorphism though both are part of genetic polymorphism but they have a lot of differences no doubt they uh, take out certain phenotypic and genotypic uh, changes in a, a population but again balanced one mein kya hota hai it increases diversity there is heterozygous advantage with it and transient mein there is uh, opposite of it it is unstable it is not predictable and it is unbalanced okay so with this i conclude the topic for today i hope you have understood because i took it uh, from my own side because none of you gave me any suggestions for this week so guys please do give in your choices of questions i'll be happy to make videos on that so guys please like share and subscribe thank you so much